All right, let's talk about analog grayscale scans workflow in Capture One. Because there is an issue, as you can see here, I loaded my latest scans that I got from the lab, 8-bit TIFFs in this case, and I can't edit them in Capture One, the latest version. Nothing works. You can view them, that's fine, all good, but you can't edit them. The problem is Capture One really wants RGB files with a RGB color profile and those are grayscale, black and white images from your scanner or the lab. So I paid extra money to get 8-bit TIFFs in this case and uh, I really want to use all the potential that is still in those TIFFs, especially from 35mm scans. You need all the resolution and all the details you can get. So as far as I know, Capture One doesn't have any grayscale workflow or trick or checkbox. So the only way to work with those scans, grayscale scans, is to convert them to an RGB color profile. Some suggested that uh, you can do that in preview, but um, I open it up in preview real quick. Here we go, this is the same file on the tools. There is a sign profile, but you only can select a different grayscale profile. Doesn't really change anything. So this is no real option for this case. So you could open them up in Photoshop and convert them to a color profile there, but then you have to do some sort of automation if you have like two or three folders full of 36 scans this is a pain to open it up all by one and even if you run some sort of automation this this doesn't really work and also like me i don't have any adobe subscription anymore i mean there are other tools out there like affinity photo and stuff like that but then again just for that so i found uh, a few tools that could help also there's like a terminal script thing but i'm not into that so what i found is photo mill a simple conversion tool thingy so what you do is open up finder and just drag the folder here and it opens up and you can see color mode is gray even though it says color space rgb doesn't really work so what you do is select all, go to convert, and then you can choose something. I made up a new uh, renaming thing, so it adds the color profile. I want TIFFs, RGB, 8-bit channel in this case, because those are 8-bit scans. No alpha channel there, don't want any compression, even though file size will be bigger. You could also resize them if you want. Um, you also could assign a profile if you want, uh, like Adobe RGB, even though I think it gets a bit too contrasty. But usually you don't want to touch anything, just convert like the metadata, so to speak, that mm, Capture One thinks it is RGB, but it really isn't. So yeah, that's it. You click start and it will ask you where to save those. Usually I go uh, and save those in the same folder. RGB converted. And there you go. Now file size will be bigger. Uh, this original file is 19.9 megabytes and the new file is almost 60 so yeah um, this is uh, the tricky part about that and now when I open up now I can work with those files now I'm not quite sure yet if this is the best quality Mm, I tested those in, uh, on a different system in Lightroom and I found that the highlight recovery is a bit better. 
or works instantaneously in Lightroom, even though Shadows, um, of course, is better in Capture One. That's why I really want to use Capture One for those files, because overall the engine, the photo engine behind Capture One is much better than Lightroom. So with highlight recovery, usually I have to go highlights and then push uh, whites a bit to have the same effect than I have in Lightroom with just a highlight recovery slider. So this is the only thing that I really found differently for this first quick look. I mean, those pictures are fairly underexposed, so to speak, because uh, the camera did expose for the highlights here. But I'm quite happy that I now can work with grayscale images in Capture One. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's it for now. This was a quick one about grayscale scans from analog photos in Capture One. Let me know in the comments if you have any other workflow, a better workflow, or any tips and tricks to really use the full potential of Capture One for those kinds of shots. Um, like I said, I don't want to have Lightroom on my system. I really don't like to use it. Anyways, and if the Capture One team sees that, maybe let me know why you don't have any grayscale analog workflow, so to speak, for your awesome app. That's it. See you in the next one. Goodbye, good Nacht, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss. Goodbye.